So we're on the big bus tour here in Hong Kong, which I suggest doing them in most of the cities you can. You see more things for a cheaper price. Right here at the Peninsula Hotel that we just got on the bus at. Apparently it was featured in the Dark Knight Batman movie where um, Lucius um, met with the Chinese um, bad guy. I'm gonna uh, listen in and take you on a tour with me. during the day than at night time. On the way to the ferry to take us across the water so we can get to the other two routes of the big bus tour, we made it to this little area where apparently very expensive stores. You got Rolex back there, you got names I've never heard of, you got Cartier, and you got the little guards that are at each door that open the door and have their nice fancy suits. So we made a nice little area right here. But right now we're heading to the clock tower where the ferry is. And it's right over there, the clock tower. And that's where we're getting the ferry to cross the bay. Hong Kong. So we're over here on the other side of the bay. We got the Ferris wheel running. I thought they told us that it was under refurbishment, but apparently not because people are on it and it is running. And these buildings are like just uh, massive. Look at that building up there. So we're waiting to get on the hop on, hop off bus to do the second route. It's supposed to take us out further to Stanley Market and a couple other things that we haven't got to see. So we have to wait another 20 minutes before that bus will go. So right now we're just taking in the sights of Hong Kong on this beautiful sunny day. If you see that building right about there, all the curves and stuff, I'm not positive what building that is. We'll find out on the tour because we passed by it. But from some of the aerial views I've seen, it kind of looks like a spaceship, a futuristic spaceship, if you're looking at it from above. That's kind of cool. We'll take a closer look, hopefully, when the bus gets driving by. I don't know if it makes a stop there or if it just drives by it, but... All right, it looks like the bus is coming, so we're gonna get on it and start this tour. behind 
this is the U.S. consulate here in Hong Kong. So that's kind of cool. Right there. skyscrapers than any other city in the world. And apparently they love here in Hong Kong their horse racing. totally check it out. We chose Disney yesterday instead. But yeah, Ocean Park, Hong Kong. Supposed to be a lot of roller coasters and said thrill seeking type rides. There's a sky train going up the mountain too, not the one we did, it must be a different one going up the mountain, but two-day pass for this hop-on hop-off bus that's included for you to be able to go take a tour of this little channel it's kind of cool they get ready to load up the next set of people we just stopped here this is the last stop on one of the trails before we head back we stopped because we want to see in the background there's supposed to be something called a the jumbo restaurant it's supposed to be the largest floating restaurant in the world i believe so we're gonna go check that out you have to even take a little ferry one of these little boats over to the restaurant when you're ready to eat so i just thought that was a have to go see type of thing so and if any place in hong kong i was going to stay in was back there at the beach town the beaches were fantastic looking. The water was like crystal blue. 
it looked like we weren't even in Hong Kong anymore. It looked like we were somewhere in the Caribbean. So if I was gonna stay here, uh, that location would be where I'd want to stay. By the beach, one of those fancy hotels or one of those houses. It says it's kind of expensive out there, so I probably couldn't afford it. But hey, I sleep on the beach. Yeah. So you can see right about there, they have the jumbo restaurant, the floating restaurant. I was trying to get over there, but I had to go through all that and even warns you that the floors, let's say, aren't the safest. I walked through some of it. Some floors felt like it would just give. I went halfway then ran into a bunch of stray dogs in this one area, so I was like, eh. Let's not continue through this probably not so safe looking area before I end up getting hurt. So I couldn't get too close to the Jumbo restaurant. You can kind of see it in the background back here. But even to get to the restaurant, you have to take a little ferry to the actual restaurant to go eat. But this is as far as I'm going. I'm getting back on the hop on hop off bus to finish our trek back to the ferry, from the ferry back to the other side of the bay and head back to the ship because I think in about an hour and a half or so is the last bus back to the cruise so we're going to try to make sure we get there on time Alright, catch you on the bus So alas, say goodbye to the pigeons, say goodbye to Hong Kong. Taking the final bus to the cruise ship and then we just wait to leave in a couple hours. So it was a great time, Disney, the Buddha, the market, the red bus tour, which like I said, every place I could do it, I'll probably do it because it takes you to all the places you want to go. I was able to see the floating restaurant, at least from a distance. And yeah, had a great time here in Hong Kong. Um, the beach area is probably my favorite area um, today. But say goodbye to the pigeons, say goodbye to me, and I will see you at the next location.